Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up that my dead grandmother, who died about 20 years ago, has started talking to me again. Um, so let's go there. She died in early um, the 2000s, around 2002, 2003 she died, right? And she rang me three days after she died. Since then, I've had some interactions with her where she's come to me in my dreams and told me things that were coming. And I haven't heard from her now for about eight years. So about a month ago or six weeks ago, I started talking to her. So when we talk to our dead loved ones, we have to re-establish re that cord that emotional connection from us to them. It's like a telephone line, right? And it's done through emotional energy, okay? So it's like an energetic force, a, tele a telephone cord, right? So I was lying in bed and I started thinking about my grandmother, how she used to talk, what she used to wear. I remember brushing her hair when I was a child. So I've still got her hair brush here with her hair in it. So I went and grabbed that and I was holding physically her hair. I've got one of her rings here. So I was physically holding her ring and saying, Nan, because her energy is still on that ring, her energy would still be in her hair on the hairbrush, right? So I started talking to her, re-establishing that connection of love to where she is now. And it doesn't matter if she's reincarnated because that doesn't matter at all, because there's no time, right? So even if she instantly reincarnated, she can still come and see me for 200 years, okay? So a few couple of months ago, weeks ago, because I don't have a specific day because I don't write it in my calendar, started to talk to Nan today, but it was a few weeks ago, started talking to her probably about a month and a half ago, two months ago, I started talking to her. And what I found was she's starting to talk back. So I've got something here today I want to show you. My grandmother used to have a green money box. It was dark green. And she used to collect five cent pieces. So here we go again with a connection. So I was out in my kitchen one day. Now, I live in a brand new complex and I walked out to my front kitchen and there's a five cent piece on the bench. Now, here in Australia, we call it five cents. It's got the queen on one side. I don't know if you can see her, but there's the queen. And on the other side, we have, I think it's a an echidna, which is like a porcupine, and it says five. So you can see the five at the bottom, right? So five cent piece was there then the next day I go into my bathroom and there's another five cent piece on the ground so now I've got two then I go down in my car when I had my car before it got broke down here's another five cent piece right next to my door obvious waiting there it's like a message that I had to have it so over the last couple of weeks not only have I found three I've got a whole pile of them starting to come to me so I'm finding them in these most weirdest places. One was even on my washing machine, not inside the washing machine, but sitting on the lid. Now, I never put clothes on the top of my washing machine because it's a top loader and anything on there, when you lift the lid, it all rolls off. So I never put anything on the top of my, um, uh, my washing machine. My daughter... She always takes her lunch to school. So here we are now debunking it. My daughter takes her lunch to school every day. She doesn't buy tuck shop. She doesn't go to the school food store. She doesn't carry money in her wallet or her bag because I buy everything that she needs. And all my money is in my handbag. What? So how are all these five cent pieces starting to accumulate? All of I came home one day from um, getting her to school and there's a five cent piece right next to my front door. So as I'm standing there to put the key in, there's a five cent piece sitting there. 
So right now I'm up to two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I've got 14 of the little sods. 14. So I keep them in a pile here and I say thank you so much to my grandmother every time that I know that they're from her because of that connection. Okay. So when you look at your loved ones that you want to talk with, all you've got to do is remember something about them that was unique to them. The smell of their hair, their clothes, what sort of shampoo did they use? What side of the, what side of the bed did they sleep on? What sort of car did they have? Did they used to do a um, um, some sort of chore? So they're always ironing or vacuuming, pardon me, or washing up. So you can imagine them washing up every day. So you remember their habit. You remember their routines. And, you know, even with my grandmother, I can still smell her cupboard that she had in her kitchen where she used to live at Stafford on the other side of the city. So in her kitchen, you walk in on the right side, you come around and there was this cupboard low to the ground. You open it up and it used to be where all her spices used to be. I remember that smell reeking through the kitchen. So I, I get that connection. It's like a do 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 comes in. So when I start talking, hey, Nan, are you here? Come to me. There you go. Now, are you ready for the really freaky thing? I was sitting here the other day. I've got the pile of five cent pieces here on a little cupboard next to my computer. And the other day, I'm tapping away on my keyboard, which is here. Here's my keyboard. My new one that I bought because I had to buy a new computer, right? And this pile of five cent pieces, now I've got to reach to get it. It went up about a foot in the air, this pile of coins went up in the air and then they all just went boom, all over the place. And I'm sitting here typing, looking at my computer, doing an email and, they, and I saw it out of my peripheral. The five cent pieces went up and poof. And now we've got sirens next to my door. Hello. So I tell everybody, whenever you want a sign, you've got to pay or be aware and look out for them. So if you ask for a feather or something, make it something unique that only they would know about, okay? Something that they used to wear. So if they always wore Tommy Hilfiger clothes, ask to see Tommy Hilfiger, okay? If they always used to love roses in their front yard, so they'd go out and prune their rose bushes, ask them to show you some roses, so it's something connected to who they are, okay? So that's the story about my grandmother and her five cent pieces literally being thrown at me at this point. Not too sure of the message, but I know it's her, okay? So if you like my videos, please subscribe, please like, and most importantly, if you want to support this channel, my PayPal link is below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Bye.